Hey, good morning. It's Betty. And I just want to take a minute to tell you, if you already know this, then, you know, this video may not be for you, but there are plenty of people who have maybe just moved out on their own, young people or someone who just never has been told or brought to the attention that a filter on an air condition needs to be changed, uh, usually about once a month. And if you haven't changed your air filter in months, then it is probably full of dust and it's causing your air condition system to overwork and your power bill may be higher and your AC has a chance of not lasting as long. So uh, the rule of thumb is to change it once a month. And I'll just uh, tell you, show you how to do it real quick. Some houses have the, red, have the intake on the ceiling, like in the hallway, you'll see a big great event thing and that you could pull that down and that's where the filter will be but in this house it's right behind the door where the air condition unit is and it's there's a little drawer down here a little door that opens up that you can slide the filter in and out to change it so it's best to change it when the AC is not running. Now this grating here at the bottom is, the, is where the air flows into. The air conditioning unit pulls the air from the house in through here and up and out through the vents in the house. So the air flow goes up. A lot of times on somewhere written on this unit it will tell you what size you can basically just look at the filter that's already in there and know what size to get but if there is no filter then you know maybe it was clogged up and someone just pulled it out and never replaced it and so on the there's a sticker right here that tells what the filter size is this says 20 by 25. So if you open this door, you see and see how it's shaped. Different filters are made differently. There's some that are totally solid. This one is, is like this, but on the side of if you pull it out, there should be an arrow which will tell you the direction right there. You put it in so the arrow is facing up and you see this one how it's got this how it's kind of dirty that means it's time to change it so i buy the filters in bulk it's cheaper that way and you always have them so when you realize it's been a month and it's time to change it you could even write the date on the old filter uh, I don't just because I know at the first of the month it's always time to change it. I waited a little while longer because this one wasn't too bad, but since it's already the 11th, I'm going to go ahead and change it. See how much cleaner this one is compared to this. We'll put it with the arrow facing up and we'll slide it in the same way as the old one came out. And make sure it goes in there right and not be bunched up or anything because if it's folded or something it could just suck up in there a little bit and not really uh, work as well as as it could if it were right and so there we have the new filter in and that's all there is to it 
for we're good for another month if you have a lot of pets uh hair things like that can get clogged up in here and they should be changed more often and i use just the basic filter because i feel like it has better airflow when i get the hyperallergenic ones with all the special scents in them and all of that i think that uh, the air condition has to work harder to pull the air through that and so i try to find the lightest the thinnest filter that i can the ones that you could see through you know there's there's some that are like green and and you could basically see right through them that's usually what I look for because they're the best airflow. And since I change them out every month, it's no big deal. So that's just a little helpful advice. I hope this was beneficial for somebody. <laughs> and your air conditioning will thank you. Oh, you all have a wonderful day and take care. Bye-bye.